Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, today I want to share with you my current favorite uh, perfume collection that doesn't give me any um, skin reactions. Um, except for my neck, um, I think you know I'm just overall cannot tolerate any fragrances on my face or neck. Um, so I generally don't wear perfumed products um, over those areas. I just wear um, perfume on my forearms nowadays um, as well as my upper chest. And so these are the perfumes that um, seems to be uh, okay for my skin that is very sensitive to fragrances. Um, now I don't have a huge collection. I only have five full size bottle, like, you know, things that I've purchased with my own money rather than samples. Um, and the first one I want to show is this Cabrio uh, Hermes um, scented water from the Cabrio range that is um, meant for children. Um, this was recommended by um, Super Dacup's uh, perfume channel on Essentially Dacup. And that's how I came to know of this um, scented water from Hermes because it's always sold out. So I didn't come across it and I never see it in sort of on display in store. Um, it's very, very lovely um osmanthus uh, scent um which leads me to this other favorite um osmanthus yunnan uh from the um, essence range this is actually one of my uh, this is, yeah i think this is actually my first full-sized um luxury perfume bottle is an order toilet um, i just fell in love with the osmanthus in comparison to the cabrio which is also an osmanthus um uh, sort of a fragrance this um osmanthus yunnan um has a, it's a bit more complex i guess um as it develops um and it doesn't have that sweet um that sweet scent um, that the Cabrio has, which makes sense because the Cabrio is meant for children, whereas um, this uh, is an auto toilet for men for adults. Um, and so it does have a bit more of that sophisticated, um, elegant feeling, whereas the Cabrio has got that cheerful, playful feeling um to the fragrance um i love both and look at the pouch it's so cute um with the cabrio it's like you know the logo um the emblem it's even in that um cheerful orange um bright orange as so is the um the straw strings on the top is also um sort of matching that um that font that cheerful uh font orange um whereas the other sort of osmanthus yunnan is the kind of more the adult um, canvas pouch for the other products um, so you can see here no reaction i wear these very comfortably on my forearms and my upper chest without any problems um, and then another one that I have recently purchased is the Chanel Number no. Five Lou. I have to say I don't. I find the Chanel Number no. Five Number no. Five a bit too um, powdery. I still like it, but I prefer the Lou um, version, which actually has more of a citrus um, scent opening. Very refreshing scent, um, and. The, this is the limited edition bottle which is so cute it's like a pebble shaped bottle it doesn't come with um, any sort of uh, pouch I just use a um, Chanel sort of beauty freebie pouch um, that you get from online orders that um, sort of holds the sample I will test this on this other uh, wrist um, area on my other arm um, very very refreshing uh, scent um, and when it sort of dries down it's got that 
how the recent of the Chanel number no. five, but not as strong I find. Um, so yeah, I do like um, really yeah like I'm liking this perfume. I think um, yeah. So he no reaction. Um, different to the recent Dior video that I've shown you which is already turning red um, but at this point but um, my next is the Comet um, which luckily also doesn't give me any reaction because I just love this scent um, especially now in the winter time I mean I haven't tried it you know, during sort of non you know sort of summer and spring time uh, because the time that is released is you know sort of approaching winter in um, Australia just love the magnetic lead I have to say like in comparison to the Hermes one I you know which you know they're good bottles as well but it doesn't have the same tactile experience as the Chanel one um, look the pebble uh, I you know it'd be so good if they can make a magnetic um, glass lid um, for this limited edition bottle um, but yeah now out of all the sort of all these um, bottles I prefer the magnetic lid closure of the Comet one the most it's just so easy and you know that click magnetic click sound i just love it um so here i'll spray it on this arm um, a bit further down just to show the patch test yeah look i, I love the comet um fragrance during winter time um i don't know whether i would like it during sort of warmer months uh yet to test it out but during the winter it really gives me that um snow sort of experience and then the blooming sakura um so here you've yeah look no reactions from the hermes um arm and so far with the chanel number no. five rule and the comet um also no reactions so far um the chanel dry down that powdery dry down it gives me it, it gives me a sense of um power um it make gives me confidence um so it's something i prefer probably to use uh, for work um days or you know for days where i really need a boost of confidence now this is the coco mademoiselle which i love but unfortunately i started developing a um, reaction to it um, ever since I started testing out the Dior samples um, now I believe it must be some cross reaction maybe it's the jasmine in terms of the scent um, in terms of you know my favorite so far at least during winter I would say the Chanel Comet is my favorite um, and then followed by the Osmanthus Yunnan. Um, again, during winter months, um, I think I might just sort of prefer different orders perhaps when it's a different season. Um, but at least now over winter, Osmanthus Yunnan is my second favorite. Um, and then um, Chanel number no. five Lure. Um, and then Coco Mademoiselle and then Cabriol so the Osmanthus Yunnan one I find um, just gives me a very relaxing sort of feeling dry down um, here you can see the Coco Mademoiselle slightly reacting look if it looks like it's not as pronounced as last time so I'm hoping that you know if I stop using the Coco Mademoiselle for a little while then maybe you know uh, it will just kind of not react hopefully as I said I am slowly building up my perfume collection um, I don't have a lot so far and 
what I've purchased so far uh, with my own money are things that I am really enjoying um, except the Coco Mademoiselle which I used to enjoy on a daily basis but because now I've cross reacting to it I need to give it a bit of a break and I also do find that it's probably more of a scent for spring uh, warmer months at least because um, I find that as the weather got a bit colder I don't prefer that smell as much as I uh, used to I still like it but I am definitely preferencing um, the Comet um, and the Chanel number no. 5 Lure uh, and Osmanthus Yunnan over um, over the Coco Mademoiselle during the colder months um, yeah so that's very interesting how um fragrances and perfume smells differently um during different seasons and um i think that's what keeps it interesting um and you know makes me want to sort of spend more time to explore um, the same bottom of perfumes over and over again which helps to save money but also helps with being more mindful when it comes to consuming these non-essential items in our life but they do make such a um, such an impact in terms of giving me really a lot of joy uh, when I consume this item um, and takes time to know them and enjoy them and treasure them um, so this is it from me today a bit of a short um, video to recap my current um, fragrance collection um, if you want to take a look at some other videos on my channel I will leave a link uh, on the screen and if you haven't subscribed uh, please consider subscribing and don't forget to thumb up the video if you've enjoyed it thank you very much for spending time with me today and until next time you all take care bye